Hi everyone, I want to make a quick video about uh, how you can very easily and cheaply expand the capacity of a power station with stuff you probably have at home already. If you get just a few uh, wires and adapters, uh, you can very easily uh, expand this. So this power station right here is the Blue Eddy EB3A. I love this power station. It uh, works so well for a variety of different things. Um, problem is sometimes the uh, battery uh, doesn't last long enough for what I need it to do. So I'm going to show you how to uh, expand this capacity very uh, cheaply and very easily. The most expensive part you probably have kicking around uh, home already. Uh, and that is this right here. Uh, this is a, a power tool battery, in this case a, a Makita uh, battery, but you know, it doesn't matter which brand. All of them uh, will work so long as they're uh, within the voltage range of your power station. So the EB3A can accept 12 to 28 volts um, through its DC input. Uh, this uh, battery right here uh, provides 18 volts. If it's fully, fully charged, uh, you know, 20 volts or so. I have these tools, these tools have these batteries, and I've got a lot of these batteries just kicking around. Well, they're not always used on the tools. And uh, and so I can use the, the energy that's stored up in these uh, to dump into this Blue Eddy and, uh, or, or any other power station for that matter, and uh, extend its runtime. So let me show you how I did that. Uh, it just takes uh, a very simple setup. Uh, I got this uh, adapter just off of Amazon that slides into the, the battery right here. Um, and they make a ver you can find a variety of different adapters for different brands uh, of power tools. Okay, so this is not unique to Makita. And then it's got a really nice setup, this particular one. Uh, it's got a little uh, power switch right here, which I've found handy. A little inline fuse for added protection. And then I've just wire nutted on this uh, barrel plug that, uh, that plugs into the Blue Eddy. Let me demonstrate how this works, because uh, that's what we all want to see. <laughs> so I'm just going to plug the, the barrel plug right there into the input. OK, and I'm going to set you over here for a second. Over. There we go. And uh, I'm going to slot the, the battery in to its little thing right there. It just slides right in like it would on a power tool. Okay, now nothing's happening yet because I haven't flipped the switch. So let's uh, get this little power switch right here and flip it on. Immediately the Blue Eddy recognizes uh, a power input. And, uh, and let's watch and see how much uh, voltage we're able to dump into this. I've got the, or I guess uh, power, <laughs> watts. Um, I've got the, the Blue Eddy set to just standard charge mode. And, uh, and as you can see right there, um, the uh, Makita battery is dumping in about 150 watts of power, which is awesome. Now, this, uh, this battery is uh, only the, the 5 amp hour, so it's certainly not going to you know, completely recharge uh, the Blue Eddy. Uh, there's no way that that's going to happen, but uh, it gives it you know, the extra uh, watt hours that uh, you might need. And obviously, uh, you know, I have multiples of these batteries. So, uh, you know, if this one's done and I need a little more uh, power, I can swap this out with, with another battery that I've got kicking around. So uh, one other interesting thing I uh, discovered is you can affect the charge speed. So we're charging at 147 watts right now. I'm going to get out my phone here and, uh, and open the Blue Eddy app. Um, so here's the Blue Eddy app. And uh, we've got 147 watts coming in, uh, which matches what the screen says right there. But if we go to the settings, and if I change the, um, the charging mode from standard to silent, let's, uh, let's change that. Um, notice what happens once that takes effect. Um, it does adjust the charging rate uh, down to below 100 watts. So, uh, that is kind of interesting. So the solar uh, charge input as well as the AC charge input is affected by uh, what you do here in the app. Let's try changing it to turbo. Turbo speed. There's the warning. Let's change that. And let's see what happens. 
will it go up beyond a hundred and whatever we were at before? 117, 147. I'm guessing that's going to be the max because of what the battery can can produce. So, but cool experiment. I'm going to change it back to to the standard mode. That seems to uh, work pretty good. So, anyway, you can have this set up uh, for uh, you know if you just if you already have the power tool battery and you just need these um, wires uh, they can be yours for less than uh, 25 bucks at least this particular setup uh, depending on you know, what adapters you need for your batteries uh, maybe more maybe slightly less but I'll leave uh, some links down in the description uh, for uh, you know this setup this very setup and then certainly you could uh, you know explore and uh, find other you know alternative you know, adapters to your specific battery and adapters to your specific power station. So, uh, thanks for watching. Please uh, like and subscribe if you like this kind of video. Take care.